What's up guys, Atomacon here, here, and welcome back to more of Metroid Prime with my guest star, Jaden. Yay. <laughs> Care to explain what happened in the last episode? Well, we <coughs> went to uh, Frigate, <laughs> I don't know who it was controlled by, but it was taken over by space pirates, and we destroyed the Parasite Queen only to have to escape in seven more minutes, and now we're crash landed here ish <laughs> well our ship doesn't really work but it doesn't really specify that actually wait that might be a one-time scan <laughs> <laughs> you you may notice that the audio may or may not sound a little different than last episode probably does we're just trying something slightly different with the audio recording and then since we have two people, using a headset mic might not have been the best approach. Yeah. But we, we also don't know how good his uh, computer mic is. So, we'll see. If I'd been thinking, I would have borrowed Christian's Blue Snowball like I did for when I made my countdown. It's a bit dark. Hmm. Turning the brightness up? I don't know if that's a bit better, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. Yeah. Want me to close the blinds? Or, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't mess with the... It doesn't mess with um, the recording. Or having the blinds, so I don't mind that. I was just thinking because it was... I honestly think it's like, this game's really dark in terms of lighting. Yeah. I can see that. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> So, I'm gonna try and get all the scans. I might screw up, but I doubt it. If I am if I miss any scans um, at the end of the series, I'll probably just do, or I'll make Adam make a montage or something of me just getting all the ones I missed. Yeah. For anybody that's interested in getting all the scans. Um, there are quite a bit of one-time scans in this game. I think there's like 20 or 25, maybe. Yeah. You you almost missed one last episode. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I had to... I need to refresh my memory a bit. But I know all the really dickishly placed ones. Like I said, um, a lot of the one... This is Chozo lore. Um, one of the, a lot of the one-time scans are just um, bosses for the majority. But, as I'll show you later, there's some really dickish one-time scans. <coughs> and this is the Chozo Ruins. Well, the main part of it, anyways. you're playing this game for the first time and for some reason you turned the hint system off you're probably gonna have no idea where to go it's kinda odd to go to the second door but or you can be like me turn the hint system on still have no idea where to go I do suggest playing this game with the hint system on if it's your first time even if it's not <laughs> Like, I, I've i actually probably never played the game with the hint system off, but... Until now. I just felt like doing it this time, because I never actually really needed it. And it could it was just a bit annoying. Um... I think I'm going... I might also, later on in the series, just do episodes dedicated just to... Or, like, bonus episodes, rather, to just uh, showing the lore and stuff. If that's okay with you, or if that's what you want. Me, you mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, nice. It may be my channel, but this is more your series than mine. Where is it? There it is. Yes, the hive counts as a creature, too. It's mm -hmm. not living. That's kind of trolly. I don't have missiles yet. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, well, anymore. Yet anymore yet. <laughs> it works in the context. <laughs> Alright, scan this thing. Okay. So. 
we... This game progresses pretty fast, actually, if you know where you're going. Yeah, basically, it's just objective after objective. It's like, recover this, recover that, because basically what we're doing right now is trying to get all the stuff we lost on the frigate. Um, because the explosion kind of lost all of our power-ups. kind of forgot to mention that in the intro, but it's pretty important. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. So we're pretty bare bones. We just got a gun. Or arm cannon. That's pretty much it. <laughs> we don't get much more. So, one thing I'm not sure about, what exactly is the significance of the pirate data as a scan? Like, Um, it's just more lore. It sh ah. Pirate data shows stuff like their experiments and their... Didn't you their... say there's another class of experiment data or something like that? No, I said there's a pirate, there's pirate data... Chozo, Chozo lore. lore, then there's research data. Research data, but that's how it's Yeah, but, um, the name is a bit misleading. Research data is just, like, what has to do with, like, Samus's personal. Oh, okay. And, um, everything she kind of interacts with. <coughs> Anyways, we got a bit of a boss here. Now, first thing I want to point out about this boss is it's a one-time scan, but... There's actually two one-time scans in this room. If you're not really paying attention, you're not going to find this one under the water, which is actually how you scan the hive mecha. <coughs> and the other one-time scan is these swamps. Because you never see them again. <coughs> okay, so my personal strategy for this boss fight is just lock on into their path until you see them stop. Now the way I see them, the way I know the wasp is stopping is because up in the top left is a little bit of uh, radar. radar. And you can see the wasp spinning around you, then you'll see the orange dot stop. That indicates that's probably the wasp you should be shooting, and it's going to charge at you. A lot of people probably would overlook that and just kind of just spin until they see something, but... <laughs> spin to win. And once you destroy all the wasps in a cycle, the hive mecha will open up like like this, and you just shoot its red dot until it turns again. It's a pretty repetitive box fight, but it's a good one to um, start off your adventure. Not counting the parasite queen, because yeah. this is the first boss fight you actually are pretty bare bones. Mm. And unlike a certain other boss, I didn't do absolutely horrible on this one. Didn't exactly do well, but I didn't do too horribly. <laughs> Careful when you're spinning around a lot on here. Um, it's actually pretty easy to fall off. <sighs> Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speaking of missiles... And this is our missile launcher. We get this one back pretty fast. It's a good power up. Hard to go wrong with missiles. Press Y to fire. Press A to switch back to beams. Missiles can destroy some blast shields on doors, as I'm about to show you. Should have scanned that, but. Oh, I'll scan it. I don't think it'll be the only one in the game, so. Yeah. Even if it respawns. I really thought this was part of research data, but this is our first energy tank. It increases our health by 100 per... or by 100. <laughs> Technically by 99. No, by 100. Because we started at 99. Now we're at 199. Oh, oh so each energy tank... Oh. I don't have more fall. Uh -huh. So, uh, and conveniently, the roof collapses so we can get across. Man, you weren't kidding me. You said this was a dark game. I know. Just watch me kill all these light bugs keeping the room lit. <laughs> Do those oh. things attack you? 
they're what's the word docile yeah docile they don't really care but they'll hurt you if you just body check them something in here almost like a stationary hazard that moves flash shield research data yeah there we go see this is the kind of stuff that's research data I see stuff that I interact with and a map station map station gives us a map of the area and I'll show you the, I'll explain it a bit more in a second when I can actually show you guys the map and press Z okay yeah so places we've been are orange places <coughs> we haven't been are blue and there are very few places that don't show up on the map. There might be one or two, but I'll get into that when... So is this a map of the Chozo Ruins or everything? This is the map of the Chozo Ruins, and this is a world map. This doesn't actually show you anything. This is just so you can change area maps. Uh, this doesn't have very much because we haven't got a map station here, right? Yeah, <laughs> which I think that's just what you showed last time. It's just that little thing there. Yep. So... If you have the, there's something else. Here. Yeah, sorry. If you have the hint system on, it will tell you specifically where to go on your map. It will mark um, the room you have to go to, which, when you don't know where you're going, is very useful. When you do know where you're going, it can be a little bit annoying because when you're using the hint system. It just tab. You have to tab into your map, and then it does a little bit of an animation and shows you where you have to go. Yeah. Just, I don't need it. So. I'll just explain stuff about it for people that are interested in it. Eyeball. Did you get hit by one of those lasers a moment ago? Yeah. Huh. I thought those are just like aiming sights, like if it sees you then it'll start shooting. No, oh, those are just lasers. Try and get a bit of health here. That'd be nice. drop rate on those things is it just like a random chance or there is a drop rate i couldn't tell you the percentages <laughs> would you say that would you estimate it's above 50 50 50 50 or below 50 50 how many times did i just say 50 well uh, so enemies probably have maybe a 30 percent chance to drop those as you can see by me killing all of these, they drop pretty often, but yeah, not all the time. Um, other enemies probably have more than less. I've never really gotten into it. More than less? More or less percentage. Yeah. Oh no, I cut off. This is going to be our second boss encounter already. This is more of a mini boss, honestly, but. Does it. If I'm correct, does, isn't this like one of those cases where it's a boss now and then it comes back as a regular enemy later in the game or something like that? We'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, once the enemy in question actually shows up. It'd be pretty sad if those things were bosses. <laughs> and here we got. Uh, let's see if I can get this named right. Red Ass? Nope. Close. Armor, armored battle beetle or armored plated beetle. I'm gonna guess it's one of those. Plated beetle, damn. It. Okay, so this is our mini boss right now. Easy way to beat it: just stand still till you get intimidated, and then do what the screen just told me to do. <laughs> you can do a little bit of a combat dash, get out of way of things quickly. And then you just shoot it. Easy boss. And this enemy does, as Adam was just saying, come back later in the game. 
I honestly don't like it when that happens, even though you could arguably say it shows how much you've grown, how much easier the boss is, but I just don't really like it that much. It's a little bit annoying to me, but nonetheless, we killed it. And then we get another good power-up. Starting off our game, giving us all the good power-ups back. I assume they don't keep giving it so frequently later on. Um, well, it's because we don't really have a goal right now. Like, our goal isn't, um... Oh. I didn't think you'd drop that. This is this replenishes 100 HP. The purple ones replenish 10. The red ones replenish... That you haven't seen yet, replenish... 50? Maybe. I don't know. We'll scan it when we find it. Yeah, probably the 30 or 50. I know nothing, I'm just guessing. <laughs> and then, because I'm like, well, if the orange one never replenished 100, then I'm guessing that would be kind of middle of the ground. Okay. Just getting some scans. I just realized I probably shouldn't be leaning back. I'm just making myself further from the mic. Yeah. Actually, I could move the mic a little closer. Yeah. We might be a little easier to hear now. Can you bring up that web page again? Oh, yeah. Okay. What? 17 minutes. Um, it doesn't matter how long the episodes are, right? No, I, I try to aim for around the 20 minute mark, but I'm not, like, super strict if I have just... <laughs> you find what seems like a decent enough place to end off an episode. Yeah, because I, I was just going to say we're about to hit a save station, so... Oh, perfect. So we can end it at the save station. Yep. These enemies are fun. Shriek, shriek bats. <laughs> Basically kamikazes. They certainly seem less annoying than they were in the... Uh, I'll said N64 Metroid. Uh, NES Metroid. You should scan that. NES Metroid shriek... Oh, yeah. Uh, they just like hang from the roof and then dive bomb you, but they didn't... They weren't kamikaze in that game. They, if they missed you, they'd just swoop up and then come back for another run. Oh, no. Those aren't Shriek Bats. Oh, they aren't? No, the Shriek Bats are still kamikaze in that game. Oh. Um, that must be a different kind of bat. The thing. Shriek Bats in Metroid, the, or, yeah, the NES one, Yeah. they went to the ground, and if you weren't constantly running in one direction or shooting upwards, they would always hit you. But, I mean, if you were constantly running and they missed... They would just hit the ground, then stay for a second and explode. So they were still kamikaze. And... I was never any... I never really got anywhere in that game. I always just used the Justin Bailey code and screwed around. <laughs> Wanna end it off here? Yeah, that'll be good. Whoopsies. Alright. Till next time.